Hey guys, uh, today I'm gonna just quick go over how I'm adjusting the rear camber on my VW sand rail. So it's just built off a, like a 70 VW bug. And uh, so the issue was my wheels were not sitting, you know, straight up and down. They were off at an angle. And so what I ended up doing, a lot of people if you ask them or you check the forms, they'll say, you got something bent, it's not set up right or something like that it's not adjustable well it, it kind kind of yeah you know you probably something's not right but on my case uh this is a custom setup this was originally a single spring plate and someone upgraded it to dual we had drilled the plates drilled them wrong and so nothing was sitting right uh so i'm coming back in and fixing it so what i'm doing now is i took out three out of the four bolts or some of them only have three bolts so take just leave one left so I left one in there so it can pivot off that one and won't fall apart through a jack stand under the the rear hub assembly that way it acts like the tire still on there but I still have access to everything because um, you got to have the load back here on this rear axle or nothing will sit right so you got to pretend like the tires on there then what I did is I grabbed a bottle jack and this plate and these two plates you actually need to shift they're, they're you know they're two come in and you got to line them up better and so as you can see my holes are not quite aligned right anymore because the original holes are drilled off like i said so what i had ended up doing was throwing a little bubble level right up against the hub that'll act like my tire and it's pretty good now come on focus so it's decent uh good enough for me and i'm on the flat i'm on a nice nice hub here and uh I ended up just wailing on it with a hammer until uh, on this inner plate until it until everything shifted correctly. And I was just watching the level. Otherwise, um, sometimes if, if you see it going the wrong way, what you got to do is grab like a, a bottle jack like I have here and jack up on the bottom of the plate here until it comes in alignment. Um, that's what I ended up doing on the other side. Uh, and so now what you can do after you get everything aligned and you get stuff straight, well, you'll see your bolt holes don't line up, so that's not going to do you any good. So what I did on the other side was, and a lot of people say don't do this, I kept it cold, did some short beads, is I actually just threw a tack weld up here on each side, a little weld bead, a little more than a tack weld. And uh, that, that you know, because else, the other option, if you don't have a welder or don't have access to one or don't want to weld them because they're spring steel, um, you can slot these holes out and try and do that um sometimes that'll work sometimes it won't depends which way the tire was imbalanced because next time you hit a jump it'll just slide in your little slot and you'll have bad camber again um but it, when you weld it, it you know it's pretty solid um otherwise of what i was thinking about doing but i ended up not doing was you could fill in one of these with 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 weld bead and then drill it out again um so you have basically all new material uh, but that's that's essentially how you can adjust camber on an old VW VW uh, independent rear suspension setup. Uh, if you have any questions, leave them in the comments. Uh, I'd love to try and help you out. And I know this isn't technically correct, but I'm a cheap, broke college student, so uh, it'll be good enough for me uh, and good enough for where I'm going to go, how much I'm going to ride it. Um, but, you know, hopefully you don't have this issue. And... Uh, if you uh, want me to cover anything else on sand rails, uh, shoot me a message or leave a comment and I'll uh, see if I can help you out. Thanks for watching.